Okay, we're going to show you how to do a base cabinet assembly. Once you open up your box, you're just going to have a lot of parts and a couple bags. You're going to have a few odds and ends and a few pieces. You may not be sure what they are. No problem. We'll get to that as we go. What we want to do is organize this assembly. And so the best way to do that is to lay out each piece in an organized manner. Doesn't matter if you know what it is, just set it off to the side. Clear your work surface. Have a good table to work on something that you're comfortable, you want to protect it, because our most sensitive part of the cabinet is the face and the frame and the drawer, and so we don't want to scratch or damage it. So we, we lay it down gently, and we, we're going to start from here. I'm going to point out a couple things. The millwork has already been completed, and you see where it's been cut out on the base cabinet, on the sides, and one on the bottom. So we're going to start with our left or right side, it doesn't matter. clips are already lined up and should go right into place. Make sure your plywood lays in the, the joint that has been cut out and just set it there. We don't want to tighten up anything yet because we've got to do some wiggling and moving. Now we're going to grab our other side. We're going to also secure that to the clips. Now I want to take just a moment to point out a couple important issues. One, you don't want the cabinet to be pushed up like that, you don't, so you want to focus on what you're doing. You want to line up these joints right here. If you line this up right here, where the panel side's in, everything else should be fine. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and tighten up these screws and get ready to assemble. So open up my bag of screws, place them somewhere where they won't fall onto the floor. You're going to use these little pan head screws. They work really good. There's a hole inside the clip. Hold it straight as you can and just snug it up. Just snug. Don't hold it until it strips out. Then we'll do the other side. We'll do the tops. Now I want to take just a moment to point out something. Once in a while you may see a clip, it may not be lined up just right. If so, just back the screws out, readjust it, and refasten it. It's not a big issue at all. At this point you go back, snug up all the left and right screws, and you're going to feel this unit start to get really tight. tightens up great. If you want to take a little time and you want to use wood glue and put a bead of wood glue down in the joint, you certainly can, but these metal fasteners are super, super strong and uh, it's going to go together really well. The next piece, and you may not know, you know what this piece was for, if you see that there's no banded material, it's raw plywood, you can see it you know this is not a shelf or anything like that. So it's got a finished bottom. So if you open your cabinet and you look, you want to see a nice finished material, not unfinished. So make sure you make sure you put it in the right way. At that point, you slide it right inside the pre-mill joints. And you can see where that bottom is ready to go. It's important though to make sure that it sits all the way flush with the channel that's been cut out. Sometimes plywood's not completely straight and you want to make sure if you need to take it and push it, make sure it's all the way flush. It's important because if not, the back is not going to fit correctly. At this point, it's time for the back. When you get your back panel, you're going to see all the clips already fabricated, already made, drilled on it. You're also going to see one channel 
in your bag. So obviously this channel is going to slide right on top of that. Sometimes let me point this out. These may be a little too tight. Loosen them up so these will just fall right in there. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now just to be on the safe side. Just take a moment. Just loosen them just a little bit. It just gives you a little more room to work. Once you got these loosened up, we're ready to slide that back in, and then we're all, we're going to be finished here in just a minute. Okay, here we go. What I like to try to do is get one side in first. And I don't try. I just set it in there, and I come around to the other side. Start at the back. Walk around to the front, push it in there. See, by loosening those up, if this fell right into place, you don't have to beat it, you don't need a hammer, you don't need to force anything. At this point, it's snugged up. So we can go ahead and start tightening it up, and we're going to get this cabinet ready to stand up and take our next step. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Make sure everything stays flush and tight. Then I'm going to point out a couple of things that's going to make your cabinet job go a whole lot better. In fact, it may be easier to stand the cabinet up and work with it that way. So if you wanted to stand the cabinet up, and you wanted to reach inside while it's standing and secure everything, you certainly can do that. got those in. Slide around here to the back. You may even at this point want to set it on the floor so it's a little bit easier. you got all those screws tight, your cabinet's almost done. Now I'm going to point out a couple things here. I'm going to lay this cabinet back on, on its back so I can show you something. Alright, this is where the toe kick goes. It's going to come with a factory piece of toe kick. It's already finished and smooth on each side. And so if this cabinet sat by itself in the middle of your floor, you simply would install this, lock it into place, set your screws, and it's done. But if this is a part of a row of cabinets, and there's going to be another cabinet sitting beside it, you've got your toe kick, and the next cabinet's going to have a toe kick, and you don't want two pieces of toe kick touching each other and having a seam. Then you have to put another skin on top. So there's a little bit better way of doing it if you have your chop saw. Before you install this, if you'll take it, Mark it here, mark it here, right there. In fact, let's point it out. If you put a mark on it right here, and right there, then you take this off, take it out, chop that edge off, and chop that edge off. You want to remove these. Then when you come back, you recess it down where it's flush 
just like so. You'll see that this would sit flush with here. Once it's flush there, then your toe kick's done. Once the cabinet's installed, you skin over it and it's a nice, smooth, really professional installation.